or four or five, each of them, then Beth could have earned more than this. Am I right? Yes. Yes. What if Beth didn't stop? What if Beth every month sponsored people in his or in her entire uh, organization? Let's just say Beth enrolled two on April, and then she enrolled, uh, say, three on May, and then she enrolled, uh, say, five on June, she enrolled one in July, she enrolled one in August, two in September, three in October, then she would have made more than this. Am I right? Yes. What if her entire network did not stop as well? Then she would have earned more than this. Am I right? Yes. What if someone from this left group, she was able to sponsor a Chinese-speaking friend? Is it possible? Yes. Yes. And then after a few months, we've opened in Indonesia. Are there Chinese-speaking people in Indonesia? Are there Chinese-speaking people in Singapore? Yes. But of course. <laughs> okay, what if after some time, you have sponsored? He sponsored a Malay-speaking friend of this other group. And then we opened in Malaysia. And we opened in Indonesia. And we're now already open in Brunei. So the possibilities are endless. What if after some time, the friend here in Singapore has a friend in the United States of America? Which is bigger, Singapore or the United States of America? Which has more population, Singapore or USA? USA. So do you get the picture right now? So it's not about talking to people. Yes, it's about talking to people now, but the back of your mind, you're pioneering in other countries that we're going to open. So I want to show you the big picture so you can earn more than this. Okay? We started in the Philippines, but because we partnered with Nature Swing, and an American manufacturer existing successfully for the past 50 years, and they have great products for us, okay? Six months ago, we have a Brunei representative office and we're legally registered in Brunei. And today, we're legally registered in Singapore. After a few months, we'll be entering Malaysia. Within this year, we're going to open in Indonesia. Okay, our products have pending registrations in Hong Kong and in Taiwan. And late this year to early next year, we're going to open in Hawaii. These are minority uh, states of the U.S., Hawaii, Guam, and early next year, we're going to open in the United States of America. So these are what, these are the things that are lined up to be open. Okay, so we're just starting here in Singapore. And we, have, we already have an office here in Singapore, in International Plaza. So can you imagine if, Early next year, first quarter next year, we're gonna open the U.S. mainland. How would the people, how would the people in this country gonna feel? They said, "What? You're gonna open our countries first before you open the United States?" Because the usual scenario for this business in this industry is that they open in U.S. first. They open in U.S. and then they open in Canada and then they open in the whole of the Middle East and then they open in Europe. And then they're going to open in Asia. So we're the one left, up, left out in the bottom. But this one is different. We started in Asia. And then we're going to open in some parts of the Middle East here. And then we're going to open in U.S. So whether you like it or not, if you just talk to people here in Singapore, whether you like it or not, chances are your friends in Singapore know some <coughs> who are in the United States. Am I right? It's like asking, are there Singaporeans? Are there Singaporeans in the United States? Yes. Are there are there Malaysians in the United States? Yes. Are there Indonesians, Chinese, Taiwanese in the United States? Yes. So before we open US, we open these Asian countries first. So it's a privilege for us Asian countries. We have this great US manufacturer that has a great belief on us that they took a risk on us by giving us an exclusivity of one of their products and some of their products and tried testing it in the Philippines. And they were so amazed. They were saying to me a few years ago, Ed, I gave you the exclusivity of this product in the Philippines and you have so much sales 
your sales in the Philippines are equivalent to 16 countries of my traditional partners. So when I ask for exclusivity, <laughs> can you imagine a very small country, a third world country called the Philippines, and the equivalent of our sales are 16 first world countries. But we're doing it this way, and these 16 countries are doing it differently. They're doing it through traditional way. And what is those traditional way? To put up many stores, to put up commercials in the television, to put up or oh, advertising in, in, in magazine, the newspaper, or use the tri media. But we use word of mouth advertisement, or what we call referral marketing, or what we usually call network marketing, or multi-level marketing. So when we use this system, or this method called network marketing, we produce so much sales that they gave us the go signal to expand in other countries, even in their own country. They have given us the right to expand in their own country and compete with some of their brands that are distributed traditionally. When I say traditionally, to the stores, using Trimedia, but with us, we, we won't be using Trimedia, we'll be using to word of mouth advertisement. So the possibilities are endless. So we're starting here in Singapore. Okay, so just imagine, of course, your friend who happens to have a friend, who have a friend, who have a neighbor, who have a neighbor, happens to be a big player in one of these countries. And can you imagine out of those people, out of those people joining your group, what if you come across a person doing a similar activity like ours? And they're saying, oh, I'm doing, let's say, I'm doing Amway. I'm doing Herbalife. And they're already existing for what? For 30, 40 years. And when they saw an opportunity, they're not just going to transfer alone. They're going to transfer with their entire network. Because this is a better setup than what they have. Okay, because we're pioneering in a very, very few countries, and we soon we're going to expand in the United States of America. And how easy would that be? Can you imagine you're offering an American, a US-made product? Is it hard or is it easy? It's easy. It's easy. I mean, you offer an American a product made from Korea, and they, want, they probably would scrutinize it. You offer an American, say, a Malaysian product, they probably scrutinize it. You offer an American a Vietnam-made product, they scrutinize it. But you offer an American a U.S.-made product, a product made by a well-known company called Nature Sway, who's been existing for more than 50 years, it's going to be easy. Because Nature Sway already have a name in the United States of America. So can you imagine doing this? Let's just say for three hours a day. Three hours a day, you just refer people. Hey, I have a business. When can we meet? Today or today? Three hours a day. Uh, let's, let's, meet at our, let's meet at my office. It's in the International Plaza. I'm going to show you a very a great business that has a huge potential. I'm going to show it to you in 30 minutes. When can I see you? When can we meet? Today or today? Just do this for three hours a day. After three hours a day, you're going to have a momentum. Your group is going to grow. Your group is going to grow. They're going to each refer some of their friends, refer some of their friends. On a part-time basis, I mean, if you'll be earning a good amount, okay, some of the leaders here, their, their goal is to resign. Let's just say you're earning twice the amount of what you're earning today. You're earning twice the amount of what you're earning today, and you're earning it part-time. You're earning it part-time, and you're earning twice the amount of your salary. So the most logical thing to do is to resign and do it full time. I mean, if I'm doing it part time and I'm earning so much, with so less time doing it, I might as well do it full time. And what if sometimes it crosses the bridge? From your Singaporean friends, they know someone in Malaysia, of course. They know someone in Indonesia that has almost 300 million population. They know someone in Hong Kong, Taiwan, in Hawaii, Guam, and also US. So we are in a great opportunity Great time, okay guys, great timing, why? What if you have heard this opportunity five years from today? Five years from today when we have created lots of millionaires in Singapore, lots of millionaires in Malaysia, lots of millionaires in Indonesia, Hong Kong, Taiwan, we will probably lost in, in U.S. by that time. Procrastinating now will cost you later, so take action today. This is what you've been waiting for, so don't hesitate, act now.